Yeah, I want to sit here and introduce my uh, my other daughter, Clarissa. Uh, she's going to ask me a couple of questions because I've been gone a minute. You know what I mean? Put my glasses on so I don't get too emotional and show sides that I ain't trying to show. You know what I mean? But uh, Clarissa here, and uh, we're going to do what we do. Mm -hmm. You know? But uh, go ahead, Clarissa. Okay. How do you think the streets has changed since you've been home? Whew. From just looking, man, the little bit that I've seen, it's like, you know, and I ain't talking about court, <laughs> court or whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? It's like, it needs a leader. It really needs a leader. You know what I mean? And when I say a leader, I don't mean just one man. I mean, it needs all of us to be able to lead each other. You know what I mean? Everyone needs to move like a team, like a unit. You know what I mean? I mean, and I don't mean just the family. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, the communities got to move in that manner. Because if you sit back and you watch, America is tripping over their feet with this COVID. You know what I mean? Because no one trusts the president. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no one trusts the president. You know? So, I mean, if America don't have a leader, how could the Americans, you know, be led? You know what I'm saying? And we was taught to allow the president to lead us, the ones that follow society. You know what I mean? I'm from the hood. We didn't do that, you know what I mean? We let ourselves and you know, sometimes we went in the right direction, sometimes we went in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm glad that I made it to the right, <laughs> you know? But uh, it needs a leader, cause it really needs a leader, man. We all gotta step up as leaders, I mean, you too. You know what I mean? Cause there's young ladies out there that need you to you know, tell them about your struggle. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, you know, Nini, Ni uh, Niki, um, Yanni, you know what I mean? I got daughters that, you know what I mean? Was, you know, all y'all was babies when I left, you know? They laughing at me with the, uh, with the Instagram and the little Facebook thing and all that. This morning I'm playing with it. It took me two hours, you know what I mean? But the first time I tried it, I put up my own post on Instagram. <laughs> you know what I mean? Two hours I messed with that thing, you know what I mean? And next thing I know, my man said, yo, why you not responding? Everybody's commenting on your thing. I said, man, how do I even check it? So then when I, he told me how to check it and I checked it, it had like 60 something, you know, comments, <laughs> you know? And uh, I think only one shared, but anyway, none of that meant nothing to me. I was just really just expressing myself, you know? And uh, I didn't even put a picture with it because the person that was trying to walk me through doing it, they oh, you gotta put a picture, you gotta put a picture. I said, no, I can do what I wanna do, I'm unique. I don't wanna put a picture, I just wanna try and text something. We'll worry about trying to figure out how to do that later. But anyway, so then I went down there, big KP, you know what I mean? She hooked me up, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, Show me how to like the post and all of that. But man, that's a lot of goddamn work. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my first post, I got 60 something joints. I mean, come on. Now I'm gonna let y'all know, that if y'all don't get a like from me, that's just because my fingers is tired or I'm tired or KP on her BS. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm gonna need some help with that. But uh, you know, that's how that thing go, man. But uh, you know, the streets needs a leader. That's the best way to put that. You know what I mean? Everybody, all of us need to be leaders. You know what I mean? Some, some is Indians, we know that. You know what I mean? But I mean, we need leaders to come up amongst us. You know what I'm saying? True. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna switch the questions up. After being incarcerated for 26 years and missing out on your children's accomplishments, birthdays, graduations, and childbirths, is there anything you would like to say to your children? And do you feel as though you owe them an apology? I most definitely owe them an apology. And I don't think it's enough that I could say to them that would ease what they've been through. You know what I mean? It could never be enough. You know what I mean? 26 years is a whole lifetime. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, good, good, good mothers, you know what I mean, kept me in their lives where, you know, at least we have enough, uh, you know, respect and communication to build and elevate past that. But, you know what I mean? It could never, never be enough. You know what I mean? And ain't no apology good enough. You know what I mean? I just got to show it with, you know what I mean, my actions. And it's going to be hard, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm a whole different type of nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, you know, to try and come back into this world after 26 years in that world, that's a whole different world. You know what I mean? And then 29 years in, in, in the world that I lived in on the street, I don't know nothing about how to be emotional. And, you know what I mean? But I'm, for them, I'll try. 
You know what I mean? And I'm gonna succeed. You will. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm gonna take one step at a time. You know, just be patient, take a deep breath. But you know, that's the best I could answer that one without getting emotional or too involved. Okay. You know. Um. What are your biggest challenges you face while being home after 26 years? And how do you think you'll overcome them? Shit, this damn social media. <laughs> <laughs> How many times I came in the room asking you to do something today? They got tired of me coming. You know what I mean? But everybody calling me on the phone, talking about, nah, go, go, go get them. I said, man, them, them girls, they, they tired of me, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? They tired of me coming in about how I like a post and how I pick a this. You know, that, that's going to be the biggest challenge right there. But, you know, as far as loving my kids, being there for my kids, my wife, and doing what I need to do, I mean, to me, that, that's a piece of cake. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I got a whole lot of love to give. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I got, you know, people to give it to. And I think they're worthy of it. And, you know, and I definitely need to give it to them. So only thing I say is the social media, because they're going to be tired of helping me with that shit. And this shit, like, it's going to get hectic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, last question. What is your overall vision for this project you're working on? My overall vision is, and that's good. You know what? People would think that this was created because, you know what I mean, the way it all came out, because my overall vision is to teach the youth to lead. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be disrespectful to the older folks. You know, I'm an older folk, so you know what I mean? But I don't really want to be disrespectful to my generation, but for too many years, we didn't take that role as leaders. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I noticed that mothers took the roles as sisters, and fathers took the roles as homeboys instead of fathers. You know what I mean? I mean, I know I'm rough, you know what I mean? Around the edges and, you know, direct, you know what I mean? And, you know, but, you know, that's been my life, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, as much as I, I love my kids with all my heart, I'm not gonna submit, you know what I'm saying? To give up my manhood, you know, per se, mm -hmm. to be uh, so-called accepted by them. You know what I mean? I think they'll respect me more for being the man that I am and showing that I'm willing to change and I'm willing to let them lead me. Because I need to be led. Because I've, I've never been loved. I've never dealt with love. I don't fuck with love. You know, but now I got to give it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? In order to build this. You know what I mean? But I say all that to say when, when uh, it looks like a skit because it comes back to your first question. You know what I mean? I think it was your first question. I'm old, so I might be wrong. But as far as, you know, my answer was, you know, we need leaders. Mm -hmm. There's no leaders out there, man. There's no leaders. But as I was saying about the Corrid and the United States, and let's say China, you understand what I'm saying? They blame it on China. China is China. Everything started in China. China is the worst. China did this. China let the bats go. They had a shrimp factory. China did every goddamn thing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when President Xi told China, sit your ass indoors for two weeks, so that whatever is out there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whatever quarry is out there, on whatever surface, in, in whatever person, whatever, you know what I mean? It can clear up on the outside, and then whoever is sick and overheat while they're um, um, isolating themselves, you know what I mean? Then we know the ones that's serious that we have to take care of, you know what I mean? But they stood their ass aside, and right now China's back up and running, you know what I mean? And they've been up and running for about over a month now, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because they have leaders that make the people listen and, 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 and leaders that the people feel they can trust. Because trust is everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, 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 and hold my thought on where I'm at with the leaders, you know what I mean? As far as how China have everything together, you know what I mean? Where they back it up because I want to get into, you know what I mean? This trust thing, you know what I'm saying? We have to trust in ourselves that we want the right thing for ourselves first and foremost before we sit there and say that we want or we trust the next person I want to give the next person that everything got to start in here mm -hmm. and we can't blame thing on the administration our mothers our fathers I can't blame it on nobody you know what I mean I became a dope boy because I wanted to you know what I mean my circumstances and my living conditions and my environment played a role in it you know what I mean? But I made the choice to do it. I made the choice to do it. I'm not going to blame my circumstances and, you know what I mean, and, and, and my environment, you know, for the choices that I made. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? Because plenty of people made it out of where I'm at and didn't go the direction I went for whatever reason. You know what I mean? But that's where they at. But everything got to start with self. And, and you, you, you have to trust, you know what I mean? And, and believe in yourself. And that's why I, today, mate, seven days, this is my seventh day out. You know what I mean? And we've been filming all week. You know what I mean? I mean, plenty of nights I don't even go on the back and, 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 and lay down with my wife because I'm out there trying to figure out how to use this. And you know what I mean? And, and getting things in order. Because it's going to be a time to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? More than enough time where, where all that could be done and, and way more. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I respect the fact that she respect me enough to let me put all this together. You know what I mean? So that it could be greater, greater, much sooner than later. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm not going to come home from prison. You know how many dudes I know, they leave and they give me a number. Oh, call me when you go. Man, nigga, I'm not calling you. <laughs> Anytime you need to know where I'm at, all you got to do is go to that fbop.gov, nigga, and put my name in. So what the fuck I need? Excuse the language, because, you know, but, you know, you're a lady. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there's no reason for me to have to, you know, call you and write you. You know where I'm at. You know what I mean? You know I can't do for myself like I want. You know, I got these walls blocking me. You know, I got these people on my back. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, I got my kids and my family out there. You know what I mean? You know, I can't see out there. So right there, you know what you needed for the 20 years you've been in here with me. Mm -hmm. So I shouldn't have to tell you what you need to do for me or what I need you to do for me. I just need you to be loyal to yourself. If you really F with me like that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You would know what to do. And no matter where I go, you would know how to find me a hell of a lot easier than I would know where to find you. You know what I mean? So don't give me your phone number. I don't want your address. We're not gonna play that game. If you care like that, you know what I mean? You write, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And send me an email and we start from scratch. But I'm not gonna start this off, put no email on my email, no phone number on my phone number. Because I'm not gonna be chasing no man around. I don't need you for nothing. I can starve by myself and I can get rich by myself. Mm -hmm. So I, did, I don't need you in between there for nothing. You know what I mean? Because I can do it, you know? But back to the President Xi, I'm not old, that old, I remember. America, they just refused to listen to this man in the White House. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna pick no sides and give my political opinion because it's extremely deep, you know what I mean? And dark, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, Things are just, you know what I mean? If, if you can't trust the person that's leading you, how do you know where you're going? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to trust your leader. You know what I mean? That's why a family have to trust their father and their mother. And they have to lead them in the right direction. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's no, you know, it's no excuses. You understand what I'm saying? We stuck with all this COVID everywhere you go, they wear masks and gloves and, you know what I mean? And, and don't let me get into how uh, everybody I'm seeing out here when I go to Walmart is out of shape. You know what I mean? They need to leave them fast food restaurants alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? They need to stop putting up so many fast food restaurants. They putting up fast food restaurants in the, in the, in the uh, suburban and upper class neighborhoods even the, even the ghettos, but I'm saying, I'm using that for an example to say like they was putting up liquor stores in my neighborhood back in my days when mm -hmm. you was an infant. Every day a liquor store went up. It got so bad that every state allowed, you know what I mean, corner stores to sell beer and, you understand what I'm saying? Alcohol, you know? When I first came to this country in 1972, there was a bar around the corner and my mother liked to, uh, uh, and father, uh, my, mother, my father liked to drink Budweiser. And my mother used to like those wise chips, you know what I mean? And uh, it, was, it was amazing because moms would tell you, hey baby, uh, go get me two bags of those wise chips and uh, three bottles of that beer and uh, uh, the Budweiser for your, uh, for your father and tell Buddy behind the bar <laughs> to keep the change. And I was seven years old. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, and Buddy would serve me that beer. And I walked right back around the corner and get that beer to moms. You know what I mean? But that's how easy it was to ingest, you know, filth mm -hmm. 
into our communities. So I grew up watching mom drinking beer, smoking cigarettes, eating wise chips. You know what I mean? But luckily my mom was a good mom, so she cooked. You know what I mean? And, 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 and I mean, every day my mom got to cook breakfast. She cooked um, lunch for, for us and she cooked dinner. While we at school, by the time we came back, we still had our lunch because Pop sneak home, get his quickie. <laughs> you know what I mean? And something to eat. While we at school, we come back, we got our little food to eat. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, uh, and you know, that's why, man, I love my mother. And I was very, very disrespectful to women growing up. You know what I mean? I'm not even gonna front because this ain't no time for that. So you know the real, so you can see where I came from. You know what I mean? I mean, I call a bitch a bitch in a minute. You know what I mean? I was a bitch, a bitch, and a bitch. You know what I mean? Just like you know, that's that's why the rap music and that that's that generation I come from. You know, not to be disrespectful, but you know what I mean? You know, but now, as the man that I became, and all my friends and people that's even not my friends that I see that you know that I've done time with, you know, everybody leaves them. But they mother. With their mother. And those are those same women, you know what I mean, that 20 years ago, you know what I mean, I was calling a bitch. And everybody else in the black community, not everybody, never every, and you know, that was a social part of our, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. vocabulary to call a female a bitch. Like it was nothing, you know what I mean? And you know, look at you, you're a beautiful woman. You know what I mean? Times change because since I've been gone, you know, what I noticed that might answer some of your questions that you asked before, the black women have really stepped up and I'm proud. I, I'm, I'm more proud of the black women than the black men. You know what I mean? I'm very disappointed in the disrespect that I see a lot of black women give towards black men. You can see that from all them loving hip hop shows. We ain't gonna play the games. You know what I mean? They get a little money and they talk to the men like they trash. You know what I mean? And the men allow them. But we talked to the women like they was trash and we was getting our money. So now here it is. You know what I mean? Times has just turned. Now you got the bag. You know what I mean? So now you get to call them a bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you're more intelligent than that and they can see that by looking at you how you articulate your questions. And I know for a fact, I know for a fact, you know what I mean, that you're going to be a good leader. Thank you. You know what I mean? And you know, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>